Hey guys, in this video, I'd like to show us how to do barbell back squats. So before you attempt doing barbell back squats, I would recommend that you can do a basic normal squat. And if you want to check out how to do that, just check the link just somewhere up here. Basically what you want to be able to do is to get your feet shoulder width apart about that. And then you want to be able to get the chest out nice and tight, squeeze your lower back. Don't droop forward like this as you go down. Squeeze your lower back and think of driving your weight through your, your torso, through your hips, through the knees, and then through the hips, through, through the heels, not onto your toes. Don't get onto your toes. So something which helps is you can actually just remove your shoes and be barefooted if you're failing to, um, to feel your heels really well on this motion. So chest out nice and proud, squeeze your lower back and go down. And, pre and preferably, you want to make sure that you go beyond 90 degrees. So you want to make sure that your hips don't just stop there. Get some range of motion, at least 90 degrees, or even if you can go below that. That would be good. And then coming up, still chest out nice and proud, you drive through your heels, through your knees, through your hips, through your torso, to the, to the top, and jack out. Squeeze those glutes, those, those, those glutes to get your hips out. Nice and proud, and then again, down and up. That's the basic motion which you want to be able to do before you progress to the barbell squat. So the barbell squat, we have our barbell here. It's weighted, start with the weight again, which will not break you. There's no need lifting really heavy when, the, when, when your form is poor. So proper form, if you just look at this barbell, there are these markings here, there are these markings here, on most barbells really. So you want to get your pinky fingers, I like placing them on those markings. There's another one here, but we're not really going for that one. We're going for the one which is a little bit out. Okay, yeah, so just that. And then I'm looking straight at the bar, I want to make sure that I'm in the middle, that my head is looking straight in the middle of this bar. I'm gonna take a step forward and get out under it. So it's a back squat. If you notice where I'm resting the bar, I'm not resting it on my neck, just coming a bit closer. I'm not resting it on my neck, I'm resting it just behind my shoulders. So there's a groove between my middle delt, my middle deltoid muscle, and then the rear delt. Just somewhere there is where I'm, I'm resting the, the bar. So once again, pinky finger, step one. Step two, one foot forward, get in under the bar, bring the other foot, the same level it's resting just behind my middle delt just behind my shoulders then i'm going to come up and step back one or two steps brace my core keep it nice and tight hold my breath and i'm going to go down as low as possible and straight up open up go down straight up blow out as i come up one more time Go down, straight up, just like that. And then when I'm done with the reps I'm doing, move towards the bar, make sure it has engaged well, drop it and come off. And that's your bubble squat. If you're looking for programs, structured programs to get you strong, building muscle and burning fat, check out the link below. These programs really work for everyone, whether it's gym or whether you want to work out at home. All right, till next time. Take care.